G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel. 1MJ here. Well, as the title says, uh, you know, with good news, uh, there's always going to be some bad news. But how about we start off with some good news? So come over here to DeFi Pulse. I really like this website, it's pretty good. It gives you uh, an indication of how DeFi is going and ranks them and things like that, uh, depending on, you know, their category and that. So DeFi Pulse, if you want to have a, a check out, DeFiPulse.com. Now, over 2 billion is now locked in DeFi. Two billion dollars, that is unbelievable. That is a lot of money that is currently locked up uh, in DeFi. So that's why DeFi is kind of my, one of my number one picks for the altcoins. You know, Bitcoin's still the dominant one, followed by Ethereum and then XRP, but after that, uh, I've invested reasonably heavy into DeFi. Uh, and 2.1, or you know, sorry, 2.01 billion currently locked up. That is a lot of money, and you can see here Compound's really leading the way. Uh, they're massive, Maker, and then Synthetics. So, uh, yeah, that to me, that is outstanding news. That, uh, that shows that there is real uh, adoption being made. Uh, if no one was uh, adopting it and getting into it, there's no way $2 billion is going to be suddenly locked up. I can tell you it's not the average Joe who's gone and locked up $2 billion into DeFi. There's some, some whales, but there's also some institutional money in there. So it is being adopted. Crypto is happening. Anyone who's going to try and tell you that it's not and it's still this fad and it's going to blow up and disappear, I disagree. You know, Bitcoin's been around for like 11 years now. It has stood the test of time. If it was going to fail, it would have failed by now. What might fail is any new updates that they try and do to it at some stage. Uh, that could possibly fail, but the core of it, I believe it's here to stay. And again, with 2.1 billion locked up into it, and now it's mostly on Ethereum, but even that goes to show that Ethereum is, you know, the chances of it are folding and, you know, not becoming something. It's so far off, it's not funny. I think, you know, you just need to look past the kind of smoke and mirrors and all the FUD that people put out there. And it is there. It's in front of your face. Crypto is happening and it's going to be huge. Now, don't get me wrong. Not all crypto projects, a number of them won't be and they'll disappear and they'll kind of fade away. But, you know, the ones that have got some real substance behind them and you need to do your own research and make a decision about what does. You know, I can give you my opinion, but that's all it is. It's an opinion. You need to do your own homework. But yeah, 2.1, oh, sorry, 2.01 billion locked up in DeFi. Yeah, wow, that's amazing. That's a lot of cash. If we go over to the markets and have a look, today is a bit of an update. So that's good. Markets have, you know, gone up a little bit. Bitcoin's back at about that kind of $9,200 range. Ethereum's gone up a little bit. But let's have a look at the 24-hour changes. Dogecoin, <laughs> up 16.6%. Now, I did see something about Dogecoin over here. Here we go. So Dogecoin gains 20% amidst TikTok pumping challenge. So there's been a couple of people on TikTok that have done these videos and told everyone to go out and buy Dogecoin. And they want to get Doge to over uh, $1.00. And they're talking about put $25 in uh, and it'll be worth 10000 if it goes to a dollar or something like that. Now, I bought some Dogecoin a while ago just because every now and then Dogecoin can really pump. And I mean pump more than this 20%. So I didn't buy too much, but it will be interesting. And I can tell you, if Dogecoin goes to $1, wow, I will, I will have some money on me. I don't think it will. I put some money into Dogecoin more just again for the off chance that it does this kind of pump uh, and not 20% pump when it has the real big pumps and I'll bring up a chart one day of uh, when Doge really goes off and it'll be interesting. But there you go, Dogecoin <laughs> in the last 24 hours, massive pump. Chainlink, well, it just continues to do what it's doing. I've had Chainlink for a while and I think I'm up about 40% on my Chainlink. Aave, uh, yeah, nice, doing well. I think my Aave is up around about maybe 90%, I think, from when I got it. So I'm pretty happy with that. Cardano, that's just sort of gone from strength to strength lately. Uh, Bancor, Ren, nice. And what I want to do, of course, let's go to DeFi. Let's see how the DeFi coins are doing. So Compound's down a little bit. I suspect it'll still drop a little bit more. It got a real massive pump. 
Uh, Kyber Network, still 3% isn't too bad. Ave up 11%. Wow. Ren, 4%. Yeah. DeFi, well done. Carver, nice, another 7%. So, yeah. It's looking at these, and don't get me wrong, they can go down. There's days where, you know, Synthetics Network, that's one of my best performers. It's down 4%. Uh, you know, still happy with it. That's 4% in 24 hours on the long haul. It's been, yeah, it's been doing quite well. Uh, and I know I... Uh, saw some guys, uh, sorry, Nuggets News. Uh, someone alerted him to synthetics back when it was four cents, and I think they bought it at four cents, and now it's like uh, two dollars forty-three. But I think that's about three dollars sixty something in Australian. So they would be absolutely cheering. You know, you put a thousand dollars into that, and now it goes to two dollars. Yeah, well, good on them. Anyway, so uh, more some uh, so to do with the the title of my thing. So there's good things and bad things happening uh, in crypto at the moment. And so, you know, governance is critical for crypto and the ecosystems and things like that. Uh, this is something I found interesting. So the NEO uh, founder says next gen internet will break up tech giants data silos. Well, that'll be interesting. Uh, NEO has been uh, on, you know, it's making a bit of a resurgence at the moment, but uh, it's still well down. Uh, I, I have noticed that they are bringing out some uh, DeFi projects on the NEO platform at the moment. NEO really has to do a little bit of work uh, to get back to where uh, it was, but you know, I was pretty happy to buy it. I think I bought it for around about $10 or $11, and I think it's up around the sort of $14, $15, $16 dollars now. So not too bad, but again, it's, it's more about adoption. They really need to get some partnerships going and things like that. So it'll be interesting to see whether, you know, the next gen internet will, you know, break up these tech giants, as he says. Uh, I don't know if that uh, will be the case. We'll have to see. You know, they talk about uh, Ethereum kind of being the new internet and then, you know, Cardano as well. And, you know, Ether is going to be the money uh, of the Ethereum network and that, you know, a, a big call. But this is promising signs. But with all the promising signs also come some bad signs. So this was a bit disappointing. So Ravencoin, I was going to get into some Ravencoin a while ago. Uh, and, you know, this isn't, you know, hanging shade on Ravencoin, uh, but this is pr pretty bad. <laughs> That's a contradiction right in itself. But anyway, so bad Ravencoin allows attackers to generate coins uh, without mining. So basically what happens is they got in there, there was a bug in the system, or maybe not so much a bug in the system, but a weak point in the system and some hackers made a whole stack of Ren coins. And what Ravencoin has had to do uh, is I think they had to go and burn some coins or something like that to basically make it, make it even out and things like that. Uh, yeah, that's not good when we have protocols that have those kind of bugs in them. So that is the thing with investing in crypto at the moment. Crypto itself, it is happening. 100%, no doubt about it. You know, it's been around for a while and it's only gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. But some of the new projects that haven't been around for too long, uh, and Ravencoin would be one of them. Yeah, there's a lot of work that has to be done on these platforms to ensure that uh, they don't have bugs or weak points and things like this could happen. Because if you're a Ravencoin investor and all of a sudden, you know, there's 5,000 uh, new coins made or something like that, well, then it devalues your coin. Uh, and things like that are really going to hurt the industry. So, yep, with good news comes bad news. Anyway, that's it from me today. Just a, a bit of a quick update. And again, to show that there's lots of good things happening, but unfortunately there's some bad things that are happening in crypto as well. But that's the space that we're in. Hopefully in the future, there'll be less and less bad stories and just more and more good stories. But, you know, we'll take the good with the bad or the bad with the good, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully everyone made a bit of a profit this week or in the last 24 hours, I should say. I'm out.